Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about the M249 light machine gun that you can unlock for multiplayer by playing the single player campaign. There's one of three different endings that will unlock this gun for you. I'm not going to tell you which one and I'm not going to ruin the single player for you, but you may as well try all three different endings in single player because each one unlocks a different gun. Now the M249 is an extremely iconic military weapon, especially in the US military. It's known as the Saw Squad Automatic Weapon and in Battlefield 4 it comes stock with 200 rounds. Now the interesting thing about the way they're doing machine guns in BF4 is that you can't just modify each one to have 200 rounds. Some of them come with 200 rounds and some don't. You can't change that after the fact. So the M249, the MG4, and the Type 88 all have 200 rounds while every other machine gun has either a 100 round belt mag or less. Visually, the M249 has actually been upgraded from Battlefield 3 to the para version, the paratrooper version of this weapon with a collapsible stock, which I think makes it look a lot cooler and it's supposed to suggest that it's a lighter weight, more versatile weapon. And I gotta say, it certainly is in Battlefield 4. One of my favorite features of this gun is that it has an 800 round per minute rate of fire. Combine that with a 200 round box magazine and you can dish out a massive amount of damage before you even need to think about reloading. Now one of my favorite stat updates from Battlefield 3 to BF4 is the fact that all machine guns have gotten massive massive improvements across the board and the M249 certainly got a huge huge upgrade from BF3. Now these charts here are from Simthic.com. The one on the top is the new Battlefield 4 M249. The one on the bottom is the Battlefield 3 M249. The first thing that catches my eye is the damage drop-off chart. You'll notice that they both start off with 25 damage maximum, except that the old school Battlefield 3 one ended at around 50 meters damage drop off. The new one ends at around 65 meters for the new damage drop off, which means the M249 is going to be doing a lot more damage at range per shot versus the old model. And this holds true with most of the new machine guns. And it's kind of exciting because you would think that a machine gun should be a very effective weapon at longer range engagements. It's a support weapon. It's not meant for close quarters necessarily. So you got to give it some decent damage at range. The next Next big change is the recoil. Now the side to side recoil is for the most part on the same level. You do get a slight reduction in side to side recoil on the new one. The vertical recoil however has gotten a pretty significant reduction from 0.4 to 0.325. That might not seem like that much but at 800 rounds per minute it's going to make it significantly easier to control uh, just by dragging the mouse ever so slightly or the control stick, thumb stick in console player situations. But the big thing on the actual recoil control here is the first shot multiplier. You'll notice down below in Battlefield 3 you had a 2.2 first shot recoil multiplier meaning the first shot is going to recoil twice as much as any other shot or 2.2 times more. The new one is only one times meaning your first shot isn't going to recoil any more than the follow up shots. I really like this update because machine guns, light machine guns are heavy weapons. They're not technically going to have a huge amount of recoil on that first shot versus any of the follow up shots. So this is going to make it a lot easier to control and maintain your sights on target after you start firing. You might notice here uh, when I stop firing and start firing you're not going to see my gun jolt significantly. Now these changes are great. They're huge. They're phenomenal for making this gun better but they're not even the best update that this weapon has got and that all machine guns have got and that is the aiming down down sight accuracy. Battlefield 3 we had 0.5 aiming down sight accuracy. This is pretty abysmal accuracy and considering that it gets even worse the more you fire you're starting off with a bad accuracy and just getting continuously worse. Now we start off with a 0.3 aiming down sight accuracy. Assault rifles have a 0.2 aiming down sight accuracy so if you think about it the M249 is very similar to an assault rifle's performance and I like this a lot. It means that support players can now use their heavy weapons their guns that they're meant to run around with and actually fight on assault rifle levels. Sure you might uh, lose a little bit in the quickness of the draw with these guns but at the same time you make up for it with just having so many rounds. I think these upgrades are just a massive massive improvement to the support class and I can't wait to use the M249 more. The MG4 also looks like a very attractive weapon very very similar to the M249 in almost all respects except that it has a slightly different recoil pattern. Now how about the attachments for this weapon? The hollow sight seem to be working out just great for this gun. You can unlock some of the more advanced sights later on. It will take a while but I think for the lifetime of this gun at least ranking it up the hollow sight it's going to work perfectly if you like laser sights i recommend it for this weapon to make your hip fire a little bit better 
Uh, as far as the barrel attachments go, I was really enjoying the suppressor. Otherwise, the compensator would be a good addition to try and help you stabilize some of that side-to-side -side recoil, although it doesn't make a huge difference. In fact, I found that the suppressor was, uh, again, one of my favorite attachments. Just being stealth, silent, staying off that minimap is such a great advantage in this game. I couldn't see a reason why I shouldn't be using it. As for underbarrel attachments, initially I was using the angled foregrip, and then I realized that this gun has some of the smallest first shot recoil out of any gun in the game so using an attachment that reduces that first shot recoil is almost meaningless on this weapon it's not that it doesn't do anything but what it does is so small that you would probably be better spending your underbarrel attachment with an ergo grip or perhaps a stubby grip now if you use an ergo grip and the laser sighting combination you can actually give this gun some pretty beast hip fire which is great for some of the cqc environments combining your great hip fire with a 200 round box mag can allow you to go on some just disgusting beast close quarter kill streaks so overall, I'm really enjoying the M249 and the changes that DICE has made to the weapon balance regarding machine guns. All of them have gotten some nice updates. I think you'll find that the heavier light machine guns like the PKP and the M240 Bravo are some uh, got some really nice upgrades. Also, they perform really well and I'm looking forward to reviewing those weapons and trying out pretty much all the light machine guns. But I will tell you that if you uh, play the single player campaign, unlock the M249, you're in for a treat. This gun just performs awesome. It's so much better than the Battlefield 3 counterpart. Really uh, a different gun entirely in terms of just how effective it is for all forms of infantry combat. We have a ton, a ton of new weapons available in Battlefield 4. So many things to learn about the guns, the way they perform. And I'm going to try and get through that in a, a timely manner, but also a, a time frame that makes sense and sort of allow myself to really become a master with the weapon before telling you guys about them and making sure that I really know what I'm talking about before putting together these weapon reviews. So as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.